Hello YouTube, welcome to another episode of my Let's Play Test Drive Limited 2 series. In the last episode, if you watched that episode, I talked to you about, uh, I drove around in my Subaru WRX STI. I did a little bit of off-roading in that car, and I talked to you about uh, Test Drive Limited, uh, the company, Atari, going bankrupt. And, uh, if so, now I forgot to mention in that video, what features I would like to see in Test Drive Limited 2, if some other gaming company buys it up and thinks about making it better. Here's some features I reckon that I want to see in Test Drive Limited 2. Number one, all the gauges working in the car. As in, this horsepower gauge working, maybe these gauges up here, you can't even see them, but they won't work. And maybe even, just for the heck of it, make the clock work. I mean, set it to uh, in-game time. I mean, like let's take for example, six, uh, it's almost seven o'clock. It'll be seven o'clock on that timer. It'll be really, it'll be really cool to have that kind of stuff. And then another feature I would like to see in s particular cars, not all the cars, is that on, like on this car, the air brake function work on it and make it very accurate. Like at 120 miles per hour, you brake. 20, 120 plus miles per hour, you brake, and then the spoiler goes into air brake mode. So I would like to see that. There are a couple of cars in this game that have that kind of feature. Whoops. Like, this is the Bugatti, all the Bugattis have that feature, the uh, McLaren and B412C has that, and then there's a bunch of other cars. And then after you do that, improve the game a lot, I would like to see a bunch more cars come in to the game, like uh, the Pagani Huayra, the uh, some other cars that you don't see often, Lamborghinis, of course. They were originally going to put Lamborghinis in this game, but then at the last minute, Lamborghini said, no. We are not allowing you to put Lamborghinis in this game, and that's basically it. They don't. That's the only reason why Lamborghinis are not in this game, because the Lamborghini Lamborghini did not allow it. And then maybe, maybe add uh, the uh, accurate systems on the cars, like you know, uh, some of the cars, not on this one in particular, on the Bugatti Veyron, uh, the newer Bugatti Veyrons, like the Grand Sport or whatever, to have lighting, some little LED lighting there. I would like that to actually illuminate during the daytime. Daytime running lights, like you would find on real cars. That'd be totally awesome right there. And then something that you don't see, as far as I've heard, no. Uh, something you don't see in games like this. And that is the gas station's actually working. Like you can, driving around and then a light, I don't know, like right here or something like that, tells you you're running low on gas, get to the nearest gas station. And you can go there, pay in-game money to the gas station, they'll fill it up for you, some, I don't know, lady in the bikini or something like that will fill up your car for you with gas. That necessarily won't have to work all the time. You can turn it off, have it off for racing modes or, uh, well, or for uh, in a police chase or whatever, because that's pretty much useless. You're tr trying to get away from the cops and uh, you're running low on gas, they'll catch you immediately. They'll just catch you immediately. And uh, also, that would be nice to have the option of being able to turn that off. Like, if you don't want that gas station thing, or you just don't want to have to fill up your car with gas for any single time, you can just turn it off. You can just simply go into the options menu and just turn it off. Like you do with, I don't know, the frame system in this case. I have the frame system set off. You can turn that off. Or you can have it on, so you can make yourself money. But in this case, I have it turned off for this video and the video before. So that would be very cool. That would be a first in this game. Working gas stations in this game. That'd be super cool. And uh, maybe, of course, more cars. And then, in Test Drive Limited 2, um, possibly even, if they're going to redo this game, possibly make some of the DLC stuff free, like the, the bikes have them free instead of DLC and uh, have more options available at the sticker shop like in the sticker shop like in this case you can't sticker the Bugatti but in this case you have more paint options like you can paint uh, just I don't know you can just paint for example the hood or you can paint the mirrors or the roof or whatever or you can also have the option of painting your rims I mean you can't paint your rims in this game at all I mean it's kind of ridiculous and then also the option of customizing your car, like you can change your, the rims on your car or whatever. Add more of a customization option on this car in this game as well. 
That'd be really nice. And there was something else I wanted in the game that would make it look really cool, but... Anyway, that's... That's basically it. That's basically all the stuff I wanted to see in this game. Thanks for watching. Bye.